Hello, my name is Gerd Wagner. I'm a senior lecturer in medicine and chemistry at King's College London and also the admissions tutor for an exciting new four-year undergraduate program, Chemistry with Biomedicine. If the sciences in general and chemistry in particular are your favourite subjects, but you're also seeking to apply your knowledge to real-life problems, such as tackling disease, improving human health and finding new cures, then our exciting new program might be just for you. So let me use the next few minutes to tell you more about this new program. Different from biology, different from physics, different from medicine, chemistry is the science that seeks to understand life at the molecular level. And this concept, understanding life at the molecular level, is what informed the philosophy behind this new program, which has recently been developed at the college and which we'll launch for the first time in 2012. In the first part of the course, you will be taught the fundamentals and the core skills in chemistry, organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, analytical chemistry, to name just a few. And you will be taught these core principles both in theory and in practice. So you will experience chemistry not just in the workshop and in the lecture theater, but also in practice in the laboratory. In the second part of the program, and this is unique about this new course, you will go significantly beyond what constitutes a conventional chemistry course, and you will see chemistry in action. Chemistry in action when it comes to imaging the progression of a disease, chemistry in action when it comes to developing new diagnostics, chemistry in action when it comes to designing new therapeutics. And King's College London is the perfect environment to deliver such an innovative program which will teach you both the fundamentals of a very important science such as chemistry and the applications of this science to biomedical and medical problems. And why is that? Because at King's College London we have a core of dedicated chemistry staff but we also have a very strong clinical and medical environment. And that means that you will be taught by chemistry uh, staff who are experts in their field, but you will also be taught in an environment where, for example, you can carry out projects in hospitals affiliated with the college and in partner institutions working with the college. So good examples for this applied chemistry ethos at the college are the Drug Control Centre, which will be responsible for the drug testing at the London 2012 Olympics, and also the radio imaging suite at St Thomas's Hospital, which is day-to-day -day engaged in the analysis of real-life patient samples. And you will be able to benefit from the expertise of both the Drug Control Centre and the radio imaging suite, and many more such examples at the college. And these activities also give you an outlook on the careers that will be possible with this new degree. With a degree in chemistry with biomedicine, you will be at the forefront of chemistry science in biomedical applications in the 21st century. And you will be perfectly placed to launch a professional career in research, both in the laboratory and beyond, if you want to apply your chemistry knowledge to developing new therapies and finding new cures. So if you're interested in the sciences, and in chemistry in particular, but also in the application of science to solve biomedical and medical problems, then this might be the program just for you. And if you want to find out more about the program, about financial support, accommodation at the college, and also student life in London, visit our website. Thank you very much, and I'm looking forward to welcoming you at the college in 2012. Hi, I'm Dr. Alice Collier. I'm a teaching fellow in the Department of Chemistry. I think it's a fantastic idea to come and study chemistry here at King's College London, as we have a long history of chemistry, dating all the way back to 1831, when our first professor of chemistry, John Daniel, started the department. He also developed the first electrochemical cell, and since then, we've played host to a number of prominent scientists, including Sir James Black, who developed beta blockers for the treatment of coronary heart disease, 
and also Rosalind Franklin and Maurice Wilkins. Maurice Wilkins won the Nobel Prize for his contribution to the discovery of the DNA structure. And we've since named the building that we're in today the Franklin Wilkins Building after the pair of them. Today we've developed a brand new chemistry course in close relations with the Royal Society of Chemistry to bring you a brand new and unique chemistry with biomedicine course. Studying chemistry here will give you the opportunity to work with 40 chemists embedded in the department already in a broad range of disciplines including analytical chemistry, the environmental sciences, forensics um, and nanotechnology. In particular we've got the Drug Control Centre which is working in close collaboration with GlaxoSmithKline to perform the anti-doping testing for the London 2012 Olympics. As well as this, we've also got state-of-the-art facilities available, including over at St. Thomas's Hospital. We've got an imaging suite, which provides MRI, PET, and X-ray scanning for patients. So if you came here, you would have access to all of these facilities, plus many more which are in the research labs here, including the NMR machine, uh, HPLC machines for analytical sciences, LCMS machines for drug analysis, so if you come here and study here with us next year, all of this will be available to you.